what was the first song you've practiced in your life? Hey, this is happening, like we actually. He's gonna tell you. First one. Was it Paranoid? Yes. Nice. Well, I think it was Paranoid. Yeah. Nice. Except Paranoid. Yeah. It was the because, first song that I knew. Yeah, because that was the first song that he could learn with Gang Gang. With those two fingers. What's that, Phil? What's that? So, yeah. Paranoid, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's a good start, I guess. Uh, oh, although, me and Vasco, before meeting uh, Martin and Bonzi, we were also doing original oh. uh, songs. Yeah, we had the. Uh, Let's say five, six songs that we were writing down, you know, in Bulgarian actually, mm -hmm. uh, back in the day. And uh, uh, but uh, Paranoid was the first band practice that we, we did. The together. first song that we did together. Yeah. Nice, nice. Like back then, did you like? Did you have any inspirations to achieve something and be like, hey, we want to be this big band to play in front of? Yeah, we always people. still want to be like Black Seven. Like everyone else. be like Black Seven and Black Seven. And Kansas, Raj, Jet Patel, and... Uh, yeah, the list goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the list, the list is endless. That's nice. Jet Patel, you say. Did you have inspirations for the flute as well? No, I didn't, <laughs> but uh, it's a weird thing. Uh, our... Guitar player's father was teaching us uh, everything about uh, Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin and uh, Kansas and uh, whatnot. And Nazareth. his his how's uh, uh, it called? I, I don't know the the relations. Uh, his, his cousin. His cousin, let's say. His yeah. Cousin, yeah. His cousin was uh, the guy that uh, was teaching us all the weird stuff about the Van der Graaff generator and. Uh, Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa. Was, uh, was I don't know, whatever. So we, we were brought into the music world with uh, like uh, a huge amount of uh, things to think about. It's like, uh, how do they do this shit, you know? It's, <laughs> and it's a lot. It's, it's a lot, like, yeah. Rush has 20, 20 plus oh, albums. albums. Let's not count the Frank Zappa's albums. Oh, yeah. 87. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's exactly. an interesting fact you know there. <laughs> I'm really impressed with that. Don't ask me why I know it. Just you know, know that I, I need to ask you that. Yeah. I just know it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, obviously, you know, throughout your professional career, you've, re you've released quite a few albums right now. And I know it's a trivial thing to say, but obviously, with every album, and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, it seems that you're really concentrated on the process of reinventing your sound and trying new things and not, you know, sticking to the same sort of formula. And um, I, I particularly hear it now, obviously that's my personal opinion, but uh, with Dark Matters and everything that you've released so far with it, it seems it's such a, you know, mature development. And I, I know this is an overused word, but... It, it, it's normal. Well, yeah. we... With every album, we try to push ourselves. Yeah. It's, if you, if you don't push yourself, you will going backwards. Yeah. Not forward. And For the me. thing is, the thing is that uh, who said that music has to stay the same all the time? It's uh, I really like this uh, Jamie Ebersol guy yeah. who said music is not meant to be complicated. People are. So we yeah. I mean, people. <laughs> I would I would hate myself to stick at the same. Uh, riffing or uh, arrangement all over, over and over through the years. Uh, if we were an ACDC, busy, I would love to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, no, we are now. We are now an ACDC. So we can name, we can name, let's say, five bands that, yeah. that have managed to do this. Okay, yeah, uh, ZZ Top. Uh, yeah, uh, we are not one of them. <laughs> yeah, we're not one of them. I mean, uh, the music that we love and the bands that we love never. They the same, except for the names that we mm -hmm. just said. And uh, uh, because I mean, we love ACDC and CC Top, and uh, of course, but it's uh, you need to be. I mean, you have to, to not, <laughs> yeah. not love it, exactly. uh, and you have to exactly. be built this way. I think, and for us, it was always reinventing uh, because we were learning. We, we started playing since we were really young, so we we were supposed to be reinventing and learning and trying new stuff and figuring out how how this is done and how we want to sound and uh it, it's not about this is what i love the most about uh, what we did with ourselves as a band is that uh 
uh, we didn't said, okay, we want to sound like this band mm -hmm. and stick with that and just mm -hmm. try to rewrite all the songs that, let's say, Pantera or Lamb of mm -hmm. God or whoever role. So we said, uh, you know, it's, uh, I like this riff, let's do it. Uh, I like uh, what you sing here, it's great, let's keep it up and uh, see where it goes. Mm -hmm. So I think that this is the natural process of mm -hmm. how things should be. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking about that, how would, how would you say your newest work, your newest music is better and different than everything that you've done in the past? Well, we cannot say any. Is it if it's better or yeah. not? It's like you're having five child, yeah. and five children. It's Which one is better? Well, yeah, I got Which you. one is better? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We, uh, I, I remember. We love them all. Yeah. Anyway, I remember this exact uh, moment that uh, we were working on the Dark Matters uh, Part One album, yeah. and we had a really good friend of ours uh, who's a guitarist of another band that's really good, and I, he knows us from uh, since uh, forever, and. Uh, he went into the studio and we said, ah, you want to hear some of the new songs? And said, yeah, sure. So we played it and uh, he said, fuck you know, man, it's really different, but it's odd crew. Yeah. And that's when we just realized that, uh, okay, I mean, we, we could do this and that and that and that, and it's still going to sound like old crew. It's not going to sound like, you know, mm -hmm. we're the same people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it makes sense. I mean, from you know, from everything that I've heard from the new music and so and so on, it seems as very um, emotionally induced. You know, it's obviously it that there's a lot of passion. It's supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the egg is about, and this is what art is about. It's, uh, exactly. I mean, it's supposed to be, and uh, I'm glad to hear it because it means that uh, we've uh, just done. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. accomplished. Yeah. It, it, it's very funny because. You know, m many people would say, you know, the metal reality is that it's softer in terms of sound and stuff like that. But for me, it's actually so much heavier because it's so emotionally induced with, you know, it's, you, you literally it's, can feel it's that. It's heavy energy. in a different way, exactly. in, in an yeah. emotional way. Exactly. It's like exactly. the previous one, they were also heavy, yeah. but uh, they have a lot of wildness in them. Yeah. Because we were yeah younger, <laughs> maybe not because only the age. It was because of the uh, you know the this was the, the we were discovering music and uh, this was the period that we uh, realized that we like this thing yeah. and it's it, it inspires us. So we were in this stage. Let's do yeah. something around this area. Then five years later, you decided that this other thing inspires you, so you <laughs> decided to go that way. The best so part is, like, never did a decision about it. Yeah, it just yeah, happened that's, this way. That's the greatest thing, yeah. That, that was actually my next question, by the way. Yeah. Was it planned or no, was it just no, natural? No, 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 just happened. Never was and never will. Yeah. Probably never will. Never will be. We don't know a different way of making music. <laughs> that's yeah, the only way we make music is like, uh, hey guys, uh, listen to that, I have this new riff and I hope I'm cool, man. Let's see where it goes. Yeah. <laughs>